Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my Minor Chords tutorial. The guitar is tuned standard, E-A-D-G-B-E, and we're going to be covering the minor chords A through G. First we'll start with A minor, which is formed this way. Two fingers on the D and G string at the second fret, and a finger on the first fret, B string. And we can strum that from the A string, or we can strum them all. Now, an easy alternative to that chord would be here at the 5th fret, like this. You can hold down those three strings, and you get an A minor. You can also add a finger here for an A minor. For a B minor, we're going to play a bar chord like this. I'm barring everything from the A string down, and I'm going to hold down the D and G string at fret 4 and the B string at fret 3. Now that's a movable chord so if we have a B here raise it one half step or one fret for C minor, C sharp minor, D minor and so on. So we get more chords by simply moving the chord up the neck. Another alternative for a B minor chord would be this one, or this form, and we strum that chord from the D string. That's B minor. That chord is also movable, so if you're doing B minor, you can move it one fret up for C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, and so on. Now as for C minor, we're going to play it the same way we played B minor, this way. And we can use this shape as well for our C minor. Now the traditional D minor form is made this way. We're strumming from the D string, and we've got a finger on the high E string first fret, the B string third fret, and the G string 2nd fret. We're playing from the D string and that's our D minor. For E minor we're going to do this easy form. That's holding down the B string and D string at the 2nd fret and strumming all the strings. For F minor we're going to bar the 1st fret and then we're going to duplicate what we did with E minor with the ring finger and little finger at the third fret on the A string and D string. For an easier F minor, we're going to play this. We're holding down the first fret as far as the G, B, and high E are concerned, and we're going to place a finger in here at the D string, 3rd fret. And that's our F minor. For G minor, we're going to go back to our bar form. And that's the same thing we did with the E shape. We're barring everything at 3rd fret, bringing in the ring finger and little finger to the 5th fret on the A and D string. And we can also do the same thing that we did with the F form. Now remember, any chord that we have our fingers on the strings to play can be moved up or down the neck. If there are open strings involved, we can't do that. But any time that we close off all the strings like this, we can move that chord around to get any chord that we would like in any key. Well, all right. That's the minor chords. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.